I could lift the weight, but to stick it over that uh, four jaw chuck over the lathe, screw it on, there's no way that I could do that. First, I have to remove that one. That's not a problem. Yes, I have to make a hoisting bracket. But I have to go downstairs, my left hand to the uh, iPhone, my right hand uh, try to hang on to the handrail. That's a dangerous curve there. Disaster way. You bet. That's no kidding. On the left is a music center. Oh, there is a 10 inch atlas hiding behind the phone. And underneath that blue jack, that has a major role in this story. Actually, it's a hydraulic table, uh, which is uh, made for uh, lifting uh, a mo uh, motorcycle, light motorcycle. Here, it worked as a table for the table saw, holding the table saw, and then it can park the table saw, and uh, now let me lower. Nice stuff. Now, now I have to make a bracket. And uh, first I have to look at my junkyard. I used to take apart uh, two ceiling fans. I used part of the smaller one, the shaft of the smaller one, to make the bracket. These parts, the uh, shaft of the smaller one came with bearings, and uh, the bearings fit this tube. That tube is a wonderful material, came from a thrown out uh, shock absorber. People throw out shock absorbers, they don't realize what a beautiful stuff inside. It's ground, inside the tube is ground, and bearing made at 35 millimeters, and uh, oh, th this is the bigger one. Or the state or use later on at another project. I just show you uh, what I used uh, before. Uh, every piece is from junk. The uh, only thing I bought is the eyelet because what I had was too too big. But the vertical piece is a is a roof uh, a rack support, roof roof rack support, and. Uh, I talk about it's the uh, small eyelet later on. It works, works well. Now I have to make room for the for the uh, hydraulic table. I have to put down the. Uh, okay. I don't know why I'm kicking it. I could have raised it and just pushed the thing. In place, push it into place. Raise it up to the level of the uh, shelf. Pulling the chuck over, that's easy. Now the bracket has to be installed. Make it tight. Push it under the hoist. I don't keep uh, the uh, thin wire under, under power all the time, only when I need it. Well, take that off is easy. I can handle that. It's a six inch shock. 
but the chalk lower the chalk lower the hoist. You know, it's got to attach it to the uh, eyelet. Or this is just a counter way to keep the keep the line straight. I use the double line, not for the power, but I, I want it to be the movement I want to be slow. It's this way half the speed. Now that was stupid. Okay. Yeah, let's push it in. Adjust it to the height. Roll it on. The, f the folding cable called the festooning cable. I just learned that. The bearings on it is just uh, make it folding right. I have two uh, hoists in the shop. On the way back, I'm going to use the other one. Uh, to reattach the uh, bracket. First, I have to loosen the uh, loosen the chop. Is it the second one now? The chalk is hanging on the on the larger eyelet, and I have to pick it up, pick it up with the other hoist, and that's what the smaller eyelet used for. Now lift it with the smaller eyelet. <coughs> the first hoist put away. Roll it back and try to put it back into place. Well, that's more difficult than I thought it would be. It's a real pain to put it in there. It's heavy. It's not low enough. Now you have to lower it more. Heavy. You can push it up with my knee. Still not in position. It's a pain. I'm gonna stick with the table for both ways, back and forth. I leave the bracket on for next time. The bracket was made from junk, which is only junk 
until you need it. At that point, it becomes a valuable free material. Thanks for listening.